I've been down so long, it look like up to me. They look up to me. I got fake people showing fake love to me. Straight up to my face. Straight up to my face. Something ain't right when we talking. Something ain't right when we talking. Look like you're hiding your problems. Really, you never was solid. No, you can't. Hi, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today I have a story time. And I'm super excited because I love watching other people's story times on YouTube. So I want to do some myself. And I feel like my life is interesting enough to have a couple of story times that y'all would think were funny or whatever. So, um, yeah, so today's the story time about how I confessed to something my brother did. Yeah, but I, anyway, you'll know when the story um, continues on. So before we get into the story time, please make sure you hit the like button. Um, give me a big thumbs up. Also, I said the like button. I don't think there's a like button on YouTube. I'm tripping. I'm thinking this is Facebook or something. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel and also hit the little bell so you know when I post videos. Um, also, I am doing this story time in collaboration with my brother. My brother DeMarcus also has a YouTube channel so he's also going to be telling this story from his point of view. So definitely check that out. I'm going to leave the link to his story in the description box below. Uh, make sure to check out his channel. He's really funny. And he's a really talented singer. So I'm sure he's going to sing on his channel at some point. Um, also, subscribe to my channel. I think I've said that before. i also leave the links to all of my social media below. So make sure you follow me on there to stay updated. Especially my Snapchat. I love my Snapchat. Okay. So if you want to hear this story, stay tuned. Okay. So, um, I was about in, I was in the fourth grade, which means my brother was in the third grade. So, um, where I went to elementary school, I went to elementary school at, uh, Cochrane Elementary in DeSoto, Texas. And, um, at the time, DeSoto had this thing of, like, there was elementary, which was kinder through fourth grade. Then you went to intermediate from fifth to sixth, then you went to junior high, seventh and eighth, then you went to the freshman campus, then you went to high school, the high school from 10th to 12th. Yeah, I went a whole bunch of different schools for nothing. It's a lot less complicated now. Now they just have like elementary, middle and high school. So yeah. So anyway, at this point I was at Cocker Hill Elementary. I was in the fourth grade. Um, so I was a senior as they call us in elementary school. I was a senior in elementary. <laughs> That's so funny to think about a senior in elementary. That's so ridiculous. Anyway, ridiculous. Shout out to anybody who went to Cocker Hill. I had from the memories I had a good time at Cocker Hill Elementary. Anyway. So we were going um, as seniors, we were getting ready to take a senior trip and they were going to take us ice skating. Um, at that time, I really, really, really loved ice skating. Now I hate it. I hate ice skating now, but at the time I really liked ice skating. So I was super excited. I was going to get to go with all my friends. I'm trying to think who were my best friends back then, but hell, who knows? Anyway, um, so... I uh, was really excited to go on this fourth grade trip. I had taken home the permission slip and my mom had signed it as well as paid the little money for it. I think it was like $12 for me to go and um, plus she needed money for food or whatever. So anyway, it was two days before the trip. So I think this happened on like a Wednesday. Y'all, I could be making this up. I don't remember. It's from fourth grade. I was what, like 10? I'm 24 now. Anyway. Um, it was sometime the week of the trip and I was at home. So at home we had this thing my dad called the list. And what the list was is just a list of chores. But my dad, he like printed it out and made it all fancy looking or whatever. At one point, like we had to print it out every day and do it. And then at one point he like just made one sheet and laminated it. And we would just like cross it off and then wipe it off. So there was a morning list and there was a evening list. 
So at this point, well, when you were doing the list, you um you couldn't watch TV or anything. So in the morning, we had to do the list before we went to school. So like, um, I think it was like take out the dog, which we had a dog at the time named Sweet Pea. Um, feed the dog, make clean our rooms, make up our beds, um, that kind of stuff. Like little chores you do before school. So um, I was home from school, so it was time to do the evening list. So whether it was clean the kitchen, vacuum the stairs, um... I don't know, a plethora of things that was on the list. Hell, I don't remember. I hated that thing. So anyway, when you were doing the list, you could not have the TV on. We had to do the list after we did our homework before we were allowed to watch TV. I feel like we were able to go outside before we did the list, but it just had to be done before we went to bed. But this particular day, we could not watch TV until we did, until we completed the list. So um we're completing the list or whatever i think we're cleaning the kitchen whatever and um we had a den at the time we lived in like this huge house so in the den there the tv was on now my parents did not want the tv on on this particular day for some reason while we were doing the list okay but the tv was on so my mom comes into the room and she notices the television is on and she asks us she says uh brooklyn and demarcus who turned this tv on and to be honest, at the time, I think that whoever done it just was like, oh, okay, I did it. I think she would have been mad, but I, I don't honestly remember her being, like, so mad that she would have been, like, pissed. So, um, both of us said, I didn't do it, I didn't do it. Like, I said, I didn't do it, and my brother said he didn't do it. So, the thing is, somebody had to have done it, obviously. One of us had to have turned the television on. So, now she's getting upset. And she's like, well, one of y'all had to turn the TV on because the TV's on. Which one of y'all did it? And I'm like, I didn't turn the TV on. And my brother DeMarcus is like, I didn't turn the TV on either. So, now she's getting really upset. And she's to the point where, like, she's like, if somebody don't tell me who turned this TV on, I'm about to whoop both y'all's asses. So, we like... I'm like, what the hell? So, by this time, my daddy either comes from downstairs or comes home from work, something. And um, she's telling him what's happening. He's like, yeah, which one of y'all turned the TV on? Because you know you're not supposed to have the TV on while you're doing the list. So, we both still saying, like, I didn't do it. No, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. So, by this time, my parents are getting pissed off. My mom is getting really upset because her big thing was that we were lying and covering up for each other. And she used this analogy of, like, if y'all do this now, if one of y'all commits a murder, you'll cover up for yourself. Some bullshit that didn't make any sense. Something I was just like, thinking back on it, I was just like, what the hell? Anyway, so she, my parents are upset because neither one of us are confessing to um, having this TV on while we're doing the list. So, um, we steady cleaning it up. They steady fussing. They were like, well, y'all finish that list and take y'all's ass to bed. And... Then I think she said something along the lines of like, I don't know if it was something my brother wanted to do, but my thing was the ice skating trip. And she was like, Demarcus, you're not doing this. And Brooklyn, you're not going on your little trip either. And you grounded. So I'm like, oh my God. Like, I didn't even do anything. And now I can't go on the trip. So all my friends will be all ice skating their little hearts out. And I'm sitting in school doing nothing because she's not going to take me out of school for the day. And I might have been one of two fourth graders not going. So now I got to be with the third graders all day. I'm just like, hell no. So I guess in my mind, I'm thinking if I confess, then they'll still let me go on the trip. I don't really know what my mindset was. I don't know why I did what I did next. So next I went and I was like, well, mommy, it was me. I had the TV on. So she was like, well, why did you let it go on for so long? Why did you keep lying? You got your brother in trouble, all that kind of stuff. I'm going to whoop your ass and you sure not going on the trip now. So now I'm just like, what the fuck? Now I really am not getting what I want. Like, what the hell? So, but here's the thing. I would, I don't know why I thought by confessing I would be able to go on the trip. I don't know. I feel like maybe my parents tricked me and was like, if you tell the truth, you're not going to get in trouble. So I told the truth, but they was lying. Like, I feel like that's, I feel like that's some stuff my parents would do. I feel like that's what happened. That, that makes sense to me. So anyway, um, now I really can't go on my trip. I've confessed to something that I did not do. So me and my brother are, um, in the den, sleep on the pullout couch. 
yes, we had this huge house, but we were sleeping on a pullout couch. There is a reason for that. There's a story behind that. If you would like to know, <laughs> if y'all want to hear the story time about why we were sleeping on this pullout couch in the den, um, comment below and I'll tell that story time. Yeah. Let's just, no, you got to comment below to get the story. Whatever. So, we're sleeping on the sleep out couch, the pull out couch, and I am asleep. Well, not asleep, but I'm sitting there and I'm like crying because I can't go on my trip. Like, I'm so upset. So, I'm like looking at my brother and I was like, Demarcus, um, you know you turned the TV on and now I can't go on my trip. Like, I can't believe you would do that to me. My brother is, <laughs> he's so annoying. So he's sitting there and he's like wiping away my tears. He's like, it's okay, Brooklyn. I know I'm the one that turned the TV on, but thank you for taking the blame or something like that. He said to me, he's like so ridiculous. And I'm like so upset. Like he's, it, I, I'm sitting out and got in trouble. I can't remember whether I got a whooping or not, but I got in trouble because my parents said I lied. I took too long to tell the truth and I got my brother in trouble. So now, so I'm really in big trouble, right? So I'm like, you know what? No, I can't do this. I'm not going to miss my trip. I'm just not going to do it. So I got up, went in my parents' room. Mind you, this whole fiasco started probably about 5 o'clock. I think I confessed at like 8.39. So we just running around the house. My parents like yelling at us like for three or four hours. So it's about 10 o'clock now. I get up, I go into my parents' room, and my mom is like, what? You know how your mama do like when she mad at you, like she got an attitude, she's like, what do you want? You know, that kind of thing. And if you've ever met my mom, my mom is 14 and feisty. I really honestly believe the shorter your mother is, the more crazy and feisty she is. If y'all have ever met Paula P, you know, like, you know. Anyway, so I go in the room and I'm like, mommy, daddy, um... I didn't have the TV on, and they kind of like, Brooklyn Lene, we don't want to hear, you know, I already confessed, stop trying to get yourself out of trouble, you're not going on an escaping trip. So I'm like, no, honestly, I didn't do it, DeMarcus confessed, and they're like, what? I was like, DeMarcus confessed, and um, they're like, DeMarcus Leron, come in here. So DeMarcus came into their bedroom, and they were like, um, was it you or your sister that had the TV on, something like that? And DeMarcus was like, huh? And the mother's like, when he's lying, he act like he can't hear you. You be like, huh? What? And my mom's like, boy, you heard me. Uh, was it you that had the TV on? And he goes, yes. And the thing is, had my parents been thinking, they would have known it wasn't me with the TV on because it was on PBS Kids. Not that I didn't watch PBS Kids, but I was always a, a child that was like, I guess into like grown stuff, if that makes sense. Like, I wanted to watch like MTV, Nickelodeon, um, something like that. And for some reason, when I was in like elementary school, I was really into soap operas. I don't, I don't know why. Anyway. So, um, it was on PBS Kids and I only, it was on Barney. I fucking hated Barney. My brother watched Barney, but I hated Barney. So I don't even know why they thought it was me because I wouldn't have been watching Barney. Like, what the hell? Anywho. So, <laughs> my mom is like going on. She's like, yo little bad ass. I should have known it was your ass sitting up there watching TV. Um, you done got your sister in trouble. They must have whooped me. I done whooped your sister's ass. Told her she couldn't go on, your, on her trip. And you was lying this whole time. Sitting up there watching me fuss at your sister. And watch her get in trouble. Your ass is so bad. Your little bad ass. <laughs> so funny. So my brother just sitting there. So now my parents are like hella bad. Then they look at me and they're like. And why would you confess Brooklyn if you didn't do it? And I was like, well, y'all said if I confess that I wouldn't get in trouble. <laughs> like, what the hell? So I was like, uh, DeMarcus, I'm whooping your ass right now. And my ass, I never like to see my brother get in trouble. So I'm like, no, mommy, don't whoop him. Yeah, don't. And she's like, shut up, Brooklyn Lene. L literally, like, every time my brother got in trouble, I did not want him to get a whooping. I, I always tell my parents not to whoop him. On the other hand, the few times that I did get a whooping because I was a really good kid, my brother would just sit there and go, <laughs> like, just because, like, like, just because I never got in trouble, he was always like, <laughs> now she's finally getting in trouble. <laughs> Badass kid. So, um, I did get to go on my trip 
and they said they were going to put him on punishment but it was very hard to like punish my brother simply because my brother is self-sustained so like if you make him go in his room um he would just play with his toys so then you think okay i'm gonna take all the toys out of his room he would just make a fort out of pillows and blankets and sheets and stuff lay in there and sing himself to sleep like it was very hard to punish my brother so i'm not exactly sure what they did other than whoop him but i know i got to go ice skate with my friends and had the time of my life yes i mean from what i can remember y'all it was fourth grade like who the hell remembers that? But, um, yeah. So, that's the time that I got in trouble for my brother. Or I confessed for my brother. So, again, if you like this story time, please give it a huge thumbs up. I really, really appreciate that. Um, also... Make sure to uh, comment and subscribe to my channel. If you do subscribe, make sure you hit the little bell to turn on the notifications so you know when I post. Um, also, make sure to follow me on all my social media. It'll be in the description box below. I am also probably going to do a review on this hair. I've had it at this point for about... Uh, three four weeks about a month so i think it's a pretty good time to do a review on the hair so i'm gonna do a review on this hair in the up next um couple of days couple of weeks something like that um yeah also of course my weekly vlogs make sure you watch out for those um the one for last week should be up right before this video or right after this video um yeah but thanks so much for stopping by my channel. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Love Brooklyn. Yeah, no, you can't sign me. You won't never get to run me. Just when she look out of reach, I reach back like one three. Like one three. That's when they smile in my face. Whole time they wanna take my place. Whole time.